I've got a really important sensitive message here for Greg. Greg's right there, but my arms are like too short to reach him, so this is a problem. This happens all the time on the internet. I don't have a direct connection to everybody that I'd like to communicate with, so I have to send data through routers on the internet. That's pretty normal. However, this exposes me to a problem. So let's invite router Carl into the situation. All right, so here's router Carl. Now take a good look at router Carl. Does he look trustworthy to you? Um, I'm not sure. Carl is kind of trustworthy looking until we put the leather jacket on him, but he also gets arrested all the time. Did you know that? Or at least stopped by the police, right? So there's something a little bit fishy about Carl. Um, and so the problem is if I need to use Carl as an intermediary to send a message to Greg, I'm opening myself up to something that's known as a man in the middle attack. So I have the sensitive data in here. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to give the data to Carl to transmit to Greg. And of course, Carl, you're not going to do anything untoward with that information, are you? Um, yeah, he's looking at it, right? This is what can happen. When you transmit data across the internet through internet routers, anybody on the path, a man in the middle, or maybe a devious woman in the middle or something, can inspect the data and can alter the contents, can inspect the contents, can view what we're sending to each other. Uh, and this is a common problem uh, with routing on the internet today. So this is known as a man in the middle attack. If I want to exchange data with someone on the other side of the internet, I have to trust the routers in between. Now there are ways to work around this. I can try to encrypt the message uh, end to end, uh, but certain, uh, in certain cases, man in the middle attacks can still be quite harmful. For example, even if Carl can not observe the data that Greg and I are exchanging, he at least knows that we're communicating with each other. And sometimes that's enough. So this is what's known as a man in the middle attack.